It's really not that bad. It just needs a little shaping. To the salon! <laughs> Pranking my friend that I'm dyeing my hair orange. What are you recording? I'm dyeing my hair orange. Orange? No. Yeah. What? It's in my hair. You can see it. Whoa. Just rebrand or what? No, I'm lying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I just got my hair done at a cosmetology school. I haven't had my hair done in six months and I desperately needed my hair done. These were my inspo picks. Honestly, I was a little nervous when we got to the bowl, but then she put some toner on and I started feeling a little better. She blow dried my hair and added a few curls and this is how it turned out. It was a total of $25 and I think this honestly was just a root retouch because we didn't do anything to the ends of my hair, just to the roots. I am so happy with it and if you want to book beauty services and you're on a budget, check out your local cosmetology school. This is part three of stripping black box dye out of my hair using crushed up vitamin C mixed with head and shoulders classic clean. The first time I did it was on Friday and you can go back on my page to see those results. It did indeed lift black box dye out of my hair. Not drastically, but it did lift some. This time I did call in for reinforcement and I'm at my mom's house so that she can apply it because last time my roots were lighter than the length of my hair. Just because I have more layer of black box dye, you know, in the length of my hair. And as you can see when it's wet, you can't really tell, but once I dry it, you can actually tell it has lifted even even more I look like a redhead it's definitely so dark in the length of my hair but I actually want to cut my hair and I think that's going to help in this process of like cutting out some of that old dye this is what I would like to ease back towards with professional help after this another day another dark rainbow we did this placement before on her a few months ago and this is how it faded that's one of my favorite things about this placement is I feel like when it fades it doesn't look like super wonky or like out of place so the touch up was super duper easy. All we did was touch up her roots with her root color and apply the rainbows over top of what she's already got going on. It's so easy to touch up these dark rainbow like oil slicky colors that I do. I think I've really cracked the code as far as like getting colors that look dark but they're still true to color. And so that it also still fades nicely and doesn't fade to like wonky colors or anything like that. And I do plan to teach some classes in the future probably at ABS 24 for my exact placement and exactly how I get these like darker rainbow looks. That seems to be one of my most asked questions. But all in all, I mean, this is one of my all time favorite placements that I do. And I do it like two, three times a week now. Ugh, chef's kiss, so good. I'm really nervous. I know it's not that much, but like, it's still like not part of the right way. Oh my god, it's shorter than I wanted. That's really embarrassing. Okay. Oh, this is what I wanted.
it's that time of the month getting my root touch up because this is not giving also get a cut i came to double kill again i think it's been like four weeks my hair has just been growing kind of fast like mm. leashing the roots here's me complimenting his tattoo and i thought it was a butterfly and he said it was a bee i haven't eaten anything all day so i got some starbucks i don't know why but i get nauseous when i get my hair I done need to eat this but i have no spoon of course okay time to wash off this bleach having this light hair is so hard to maintain no. now it's time for the cut i only cut off like one inch but it seems so much shorter looking sleek and we're back with the coloring this time i want to go for more like an orange like brighter color to this point it's kind of painful <laughs> but the color starting to look good also the color will tone down the more i wash this so i'm not worried about the brightness but look at this <gasps> can't believe this. this is probably the brightest hair color i have ever gotten but to be honest it's a vibe like oh, look at me shook being shook if like you're thinking about it just do it okay bye I was like, I want to bleach and tone. Like, can you do a bleach and tone for me, please? Like, smiley face emoji. And she was like, tone? A question mark. And I was like, a bleach and tone? Like, a bleach and tone? Like, a bleach and tone? Like, what, what do you mean tone? Like, after you bleach it, can you tone it? Like, make it not brassy? And she was like, oh, oh, I understand. And put, like, the blonde princess emoji. And I was like, okay, like, I'm my black hair yesterday this is part two i'm trying to get my hair that i was dying black to match these brown extensions didn't have the extensions with me yesterday when i went in to buy the hair dye so i am just kind of hoping that it matches but i made enough dye to cover my head and cover the extensions because i think if anything this is going to be a little bit darker than the extensions so i'm hoping if i just put it on my hair and the extensions everything will end up matching if you're wondering why i'm doing this at home and not at the salon it's because i quit my job a couple weeks ago to attempt being an influencer full-time so this is the absolute last thing i should be spending my money on but if this works i will have only spent like i think the dye was like 70 dollars, and i already had the extensions I wore gloves on my hands, but I have managed to get dye on every other part of my body. It's obviously hard to tell, but like it's kind of looking like the color I want it to be. I'm honestly happy with any shade of brown. I just wanted the black to be gone, so as long as I don't look like Chucky anymore. I think it's gonna be the same exact color as the extensions because they're kind of like a coppery brown. It was hard to tell in the other light, but the only thing is, is my roots are still lighter. So I'm gonna have to dye those again before I put the extensions in, but let's go blow dry this and see how it matches. I'm honestly so impressed with myself. Look at this color match. Like, this is so close. It's so close, but I will say I need to tone it. It's still a little bit too orange, like ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna fix these roots because I know what I did wrong and why my roots did this. And I'm gonna go fix that. I actually, I really like this color. I'm gonna run to the store right now and get toner and fix this. And then I'm gonna put in my extensions. So come back for part three and I'll have the final results with the extensions in.